Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our first case, our first special case for a quadratic equation like equation. So it doesn't look like a quadratic equation because it's x to the fourth power, but if we make the right substitution, we can turn it into a quadratic equation. So what we can do here is we can say let u equal x squared. If we do that, then we can square both sides and say that u squared equals x to the fourth power and we'll make those substitutions in here. So x to the fourth now becomes u squared minus six times x squared becomes u minus 16 equals zero. And now we have a real quadratic equation that we can solve using whatever technique we would like. It looks like we can factor that one, so let's try that. So we're going to end up with two binomials. If it's factorable, we have a u and a u. Sign-wise, we need a positive and a negative. When I multiply, I get negative 16, add, I get negative 6. So a negative 8 and a positive 2 will do it. When I multiply, I get negative 16. When I add, I get minus 6. So from this, we can conclude that u plus 2 equals 0 or u minus 8 equals 0. We can say so because when we multiply and we get a 0, that means either one or the other must be 0. In this case, we see that u equals negative 2, or in this case, we see that u is equal to a positive 8. Now, of course, we weren't looking for u, we were looking for x, which means we now have to substitute back u equals x squared, so that means that x squared equals negative 2, or x squared equals a positive 8. So now to find x, I need to take the square root of both sides, so in this case I get x is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 2. Or, in this case, x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 8. Here, the square root of negative 1 is i, so this can be written as x is equal to plus or minus i times the square root of 2. Or, in this case, we can say that x is equal to plus or minus 2 times the square root of 2. Notice I have two real solutions and I have two imaginary solutions. I have a total of four solutions out of that equation. So I have two real solutions and I have two imaginary solutions. And that's how we solve an equation that looks like that. Hmm, interesting. Yes, I got it right. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Positive. 